Big foe. Beautiful to see you here on the desk after a W. Um, been a long year. You've won a lot of matches, played a lot mentally, physically. How are we feeling for this final push of the year? Uh, good, good. For this event, really good. Um, we're excited to play. Uh, yeah, I mean, last couple of weeks I was definitely struggling with some motivation, but this uh, this week I feel I feel good. I want to play. I really like being in Paris. My girlfriend's here, so just trying to have fun and um, enjoy a good last week. I want to I want to get to one of those matches in the last few weeks, but um, I haven't seen you since you opened. Always great to see you. Always good vibes. How has life changed at all after the Open? I mean, that was that was something else. What you put on over there. I mean, you had all sorts of people getting behind you, energy-wise. It was, it was, it was a real movement, and uh, it was it was beautiful to watch. How's it been for you? Yeah, no, it's definitely been wild. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of uh, different people reaching out, uh, hanging out with a lot of different people. You find yourself in a bunch of different circumstances. Than you I were. mean, uh, fashion weeks yeah. and court sides and games, yeah, and it's just yeah. been something else. Yeah, no. So I mean, it's been a lot of fun. It's been. A lot to take in, um, and then it was great. I thought I did a great job with Labor Cup in Tokyo. Yeah. I mean, after that, honestly, um, you know, I was I felt pretty satisfied. Um, I didn't really want to come back to Europe, but now we're, now we're here. Um, got off got off a couple couple weeks off me, and yeah. and you know now I'm excited to be here in Paris and 1,000, and it's a good opportunity. Uh, listen, you've, you've had so many different matches this year that have sort of elevated you in different ways, and you cracked the top 20, career-high 17. Um, but it was an interesting match in Stockholm. You played against Elias Emer, and after that match, you said it was a real growth win. Talk about that a little bit, what that meant to you. Yeah, no, I mean, like, because, again, you know, I generally, you know, I love Stockholm, love the event, but I just, you know, didn't really want to be there. Um, and, you know, he was playing really well, and get, I was getting outplayed, and I, before I would have kind of just let the match go. Um, he gave me an opening, and I and I kind of competed and, and got it done in the third. So, I mean, regardless of what happened after that, it was actually, I mean, that's a pretty good effort from by me. Um, before I would have just gave that up, and um, but the fact that I came back and won, he got a little tight, obviously. I still think he deserved to win, but he played a great tennis that night, but hey, it's, it's the name of the game. He was, he was trying to get that big win over, yeah. over Francis Tiafo, yeah. you know? It's It's been a beautiful year, and look, getting to 17 in the world, I know it's it's a goal of yours to have gotten to the top 20, but I know you're not the kind of guy who, who gets satisfied, and there's a lot more you want to do. Uh, is it ever a struggle to sort of readjust and, and, and just keep elevating those goals, shooting for something bigger, shooting for something bigger every time you hit a milestone? Um, I think, I think honestly, US Open was probably the best thing that happened to me, not even just the result, but just uh, I think it was great that I actually didn't win the event. I wonder where, you know, where I'd be mentally if I did win the event, um, especially with all the hype and stuff after it. Right. But it only made me hungrier to see, you know, what would happen if I did win the event. And, um, yeah, and now just... You know, just being so close and, and not actually doing it. I, I just want I want to cross that line and get to the final and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, my goals are just, you know, these these kind of events, the 1000s and slams. I mean, I want to I want to, you know, really hold those titles and uh, and have my name in the hardware. Well, you know what the goats say, you know, you got to lose those big matches that hurt in order exactly. to exactly. come back and win. All right. So now we got you on the TC desk. Just tell us after the US Open coolest thing that happened to you, experience, person you met, anything. Um, I mean, a lot, a lot, <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot, I mean, a lot of cool things happen to me. I mean, a lot of crazy messages and DMs from famous people, but probably, honestly, I mean, uh, me being a huge NBA fan, hanging out with Carmelo Anthony in New York, that was, that was wild. Like, cause like, one of my favorite rappers who passed away, RP Pop Smoke, called him the king of New York, and, uh, seeing how he moves and operates in New York was, was wild. And, um, that's probably one of the coolest things, and him even just, you know, kind of just messaging me and, and, and giving me like real game was 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 pretty cool, um, but yeah, I mean I met a bunch of different people, but that was that was wild. That's amazing, man! Idols, idols becoming your colleagues. That's beautiful. That's pretty cool. Love seeing you win. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, man. Thank you.